Metropolitans have been rolling pretty much since day one of the season. Heidi, give us the inside scoop. Matt, this team has been absolutely dominant so far this season. In fact, if they were to maintain this level of play through the second half, they might even challenge for the all-time wins record. I tried to discuss that possibility with a few players, but they were reluctant to go there. I was told they're trying to take it one game at a time and get this, focus on continuing to improve. How much better can this team get? Well, that's exactly what they want to find out. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. His matchup numbers with Hendricks, not great. He's one for eight. He's also gone down on strikes five times. And this is taken outside for ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The one-one. Line to the right side and a base hit so the leadoff man is aboard boy so frustrating as a pitcher you make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there try to bust him in D row and he fights it off the other way yeah you tip your hat to the pitcher right there he executed his pitch but nice job by the offensive player fighting it doesn't matter what it looks like a knocks a knock Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And another throw over. A dive, but he's back. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. I like the aggressiveness with two strikes to put the runner in motion. Sometimes that can backfire and it can turn into one of those strike him out, throw him out, double plays. But he was able to get there safely at second. Here's your one to Cespedes. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to the plate. Ah, but the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. So he's aboard with a second hit of the afternoon so far as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's Echeverria now. His matchup numbers with Hendricks. He has a 3-for-12 line. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On to the bottom of inning number six. All tied at one and one. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Line drive to center field. Bruxton patrolling center makes the play one out. Ready once again, Daniel Descalzo. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. To one and two now. Bases are empty, one man out.
pulled toward right center field. Broxton's on the move. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. His career line against Wheeler. The pitcher's own to me a paltry one for 11. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit out towards second. Echeverria is there. Throw in time and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. Score remains tied one to one. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. He'll start the seventh and Dan is a former pitcher yourself. You must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. In there and he's ahead 0 2 now. Hey he caught him off guard right there. I like that pitch. High fastball executed. I know he's known for the sinker ball but if he can get some eye levels oh, up know. and down he's going to have some success. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. The one two. Misses for the second ball. to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. I don't think he's going to triple up on changeup right there. He seemed to have gotten the timing down on that second one. Lifted down the line and left and this will wind up a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Sinker 3 and 2 now. Hey this is a heck of a battle right here. Long a B. You know what. They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The payoff pitch one more time. And he fouls this one off. The next 3-2. Another one sent foul. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Here's Jed Lowry now. Slap hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, talk about being a game of inches, d -Roll. That was a bullet just out of the reach of the third baseman. Yeah, third base is just a reactionary position, kind of a la goalie in hockey. He didn't have much chance there. He tried to make a play, get it above his head, but he was unable to get there. Standing in now, Dominic Smith. He swings and lines it to left. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And with that the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away batters able to keep his hands inside not try and do too much and just force feet a single. Into the box Zach Wheeler. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. There's one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. 
Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Now a swing and a little soft liner to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. And he takes strike two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. A curveball hit right back at him on the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets, still tied one apiece. Here's Javier Baez, due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Smith is there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Kyle Schwarber. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Cespedes is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. One for two on his line so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. A ball and a strike. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Shoots this one over to first. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Hey, you got to respect the first baseman getting dirty right there, but that batter was able to shoot that right pass. Here's Addison Russell. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. His career line against Wheeler. He's got a three for seven line. Behind 0-2 now. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cubs. Score remains deadlocked at one. Digging in and looking for more, Keon Broxton. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. The one two. Is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Two and two. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Two very well pitched games thus far. There you see it. Each team with a one and a whole lot of zeros. One one our score at this point in the ball game. Things have been tight throughout. Next up from New York, Wilson Ramos. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. A ball and no strikes. One run, eight hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Slap hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. 
Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. And he puts it on the ground to second. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. I think the whole ballpark knew he was going to go with the sinker right there to induce the double play. The only problem is, is he can't guarantee it's going to be hit right at one of his infielders. Tough luck. There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate, so it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Pedro Stroke will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. And time will be called here as with the important go ahead run at second base they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Settling in now a Danny Echevarria no hits in three tries so far he struck out once. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch into center field, and that's going to get down for the base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go ahead run at third now with still only one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Dero, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, much too tardy on the fastball, 1 and 1. I don't blame the batter for pulling the trigger right there. Those fastballs light up your eyes, and you can occasionally do damage with them, but he wasn't able to catch up with that one. Fastball called strike one and two. One and two. There's a swing and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. The catch is made. Here comes the go ahead run for the plate. He's safe at the plate. And they've taken the lead here in the eighth. Hey, putting together good at bats late in the games can really help out. And how about this sack fly right here? Good at bat that leads to his team getting the lead here in the late innings. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch pulled high in the air out to right field. Bodie has a beat on it, and that ends the inning. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets are out on top, two to one. Travis Darno will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now at the plate, Ben Zobrist. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing and one. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Lowry has a play. One away. So one gone here in the Chicago 8. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape. David Bodie. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. 
Expect the guy on the mound to keep attacking his zone right here. He has a chance for a quick inning. He is not nibbling. Everything is catching those 17 inches. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Conforto is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Albert Almora. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Swing and a liner. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The next hub up, Daniel Descalzo. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. I'm set with the 0-1. 0-1 is a splitter that misses for the first ball. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One one. Trying to send him packing for the second time. This is pulled into right, and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Cubs strand one. They're down 2-1. Brock enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Next for the Mets, Dominic Smith. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0 home. Hard on the ground towards short. Baez has it. And the throw takes the first baseman right into the charging path of the base runner, but he's able to make a nice swipe tag to record the first out. Robinson Cano will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran. It's nothing in one. Cano is in, don't you know, a part of his New York nickname days. He's a 15 year major league vet, so it's been quite the career for him. Yeah, and that's the name of the game with this guy. You don't hang around 13 years. I always say this you show me a good teammate, I'll show you a guy who opens the door every day, and you know exactly what you're getting. The consistency this guy has had can't go unnoticed, and he's had an amazing career. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded back up the middle. Baez fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it two to one. Jerry's Familia enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Digging in once again, Anthony Rizzo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's set. Here it comes. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The ball in two strikes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. 
Lifetime against Familia. He's one for three. Nope, Nearly open. got the inside, but ruled the ball. 2 0 count, the pitch, and it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, a rolling stone gathers no moss, and these guys, I'm not sure they've even heard of moss. Yeah, this is a complete baseball team right now, guys. They've shown they can beat you in a variety of ways. They look like a team ready for the postseason, and we haven't even reached the all-star break. No doubt about it, D-Ro. I think they are the league standard right now, and it's a treat to watch this team play. Going to be a fun team to follow the rest of the season. Well, in case you didn't already know or needed a reminder, Robinson Cano is a pretty important player for this club. Yeah, you know, that's an understatement, Matt. He brings so much talent to the table, and his success is absolutely essential to this team. If this team gets to where they want to go, he's going to have a lot to do with it. It's hard to imagine it any other way. Here's Robbie Cano now. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four for five effort. Cano waits on the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Hey Matty V we're taking a look at a team right here D. Rowe. Through hey, five games right of this homestand they're three and two. I know they were expecting more but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, yeah this okay. is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games especially at home on the road. You can deal with it at home. This is a must win. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Yeah, I need you right here. You know, time. we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. At the plate, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Come on. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Michael Conforto connects for a two run home run. Number 13 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing.
that's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. So stepping in, Robinson Cano. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Hey, needs you right here. One time. Let's go. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Cano is in Don't You Know, a part of his New York nickname days. He's got plenty of contract security. This is the first year of a new five-year deal. Two balls and no strikes to Robinson Cano here. Go, two and zero oh count and the pitch hey. and that's taken for a strike on the inside corner two and one that's a real good job of going back to back fastballs right there most of the time a hitter will see a fastball in the inside half of the plate and they'll just think well this pitcher's hey. going to go back on the outside but two when ball. you double up like he did right there it sends a message to the hitter that you're not afraid to throw in that inner right half right of the here. plate. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's another 2-2. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Hey, Cespedes, like the runner there. at first with one gun in the inning. Hey, stick your plan up there, kid. Get your pitch and drive it. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Segura has it. Hernandez at second. Relay to first in time. And so here now is the pitcher, Aaron Nola, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Cano has it. Throw goes over to third. Then it goes to first, and it's not in time. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped. So one away here with the bases empty, and set to stand in the fine second baseman, Robinson Cano. Here comes the first pitch. There's a fastball right down Broadway, taken for a strike. Come on, guy. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. Oh, I know he's ahead 0 1, but he's finding hey, the harder to play rip. way too often. Here's the 1 1 now to Cano. Fouled straight back. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number two. Here we go now. Come on now. What's that? Still only one out in the inning. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Hard hit to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Cano. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's gone three for eight. He also has one home run. Hey, let her rip, let her rip. He's set and the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Let's go, let's go right here. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, 
Hey, see it. Drive it. The Let's one go, two. Go. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Cano is retired, and there's one away. Well, guys, unfortunately, Cano did not get a lot done at the plate in this game. You know what, Matty? No, he didn't. And we touched earlier on the vital importance of his contribution to this club going forward. We didn't see it today, boys. But you know what? He's got a ton of talent, and we'll look for him to back it up next game. We're in a close contest here between division rivals. And guys, do players reach a little deeper in these matchups, or should they maybe? Hey, no doubt about that. A win against a division rival is much more valuable. In fact, in addition to gaining a game in your win column, you're also putting them one more behind in the loss column, which guarantees that your position in the standings is always improving. At the end of the season, it's these divisional rivals that you are measured up against. So, absolutely, these are the games you definitely want to win. Now to the plate, the pitcher, JT Real Muto. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 delivery. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on swivel. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Cesar Hernandez. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at-bat. Conforto racing back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Phillies down in order, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Jose Alvarez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Leading off the inning, Jed Lowry. And they'll need him to get something going here. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. A dive, and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play.
at the plate. Dominic Smith. He's one for two in the ball game. From the stretch. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. A ball and a strike to the Mets first baseman. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Hernandez gloves it. Throw on to first. Two gone. Todd Frazier will pinch hit here and he's the potential tying run. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. He's got the average to 321 eight home runs and 14 driven in. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Gets up for the 3 2. Fouled away. And he lays off. Ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing and one. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. The one one home is a fastball that misses. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Three and one to him now. Here it is on three and one. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Sir Anthony Dominguez trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Here's Juan Lagares now. He's got a base hit tonight. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. A dive, but it's off his glove. And that's going to plant the tying run from second as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. You know, d -Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. McCutcheon is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 4-4. Justin Wilson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Here's Bryce Harper now, and this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Conforto ranging back, and they have taken the lead.
A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5 4 ball game. The crowd was hoping and praying he'd go down. Then he quiets him in a hurry with one swing of the bat. And more importantly than quieting the crowd, it gives his guys the lead. That's what we call timely production by a big-time power hitter. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. No balls in one strike. Both teams with six hits so far. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. Every pitcher gives up home runs some more than others but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Five runs, six hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cespedes is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run that pushes him out in front. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Philadelphia is on top, five to four. David Robertson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's just one for six. First offering on its way. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball over the outside but in there for a strike. Robertson is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty D, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. The one two good job going down and hanging with it that time here's another one two hit back up the middle and that's through into center field so the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. You can't ask for anything more than getting a leadoff man on right there. It brings the go-ahead run to the plate. He's in position to do some damage. It would be interesting to see how the manager plays this one. There's Robbie Cano now. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit and it's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Cespedes gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Oh, 
He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now ball three. Three and two now. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter on that one. And there he goes toward second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Now the tag by Segura. They're going to get him at second base. I think it was pretty apparent he was trying to steal that bag to keep them out of the double play, which the guy at the plate is certainly prone to sometimes. It's always a risk, though. And that time, they cut him down. In now, Michael Conforto, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This is in the air out to right. Harper has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the Metropolitans. Still down a run, it's 5 to 4. Seth Lugo enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. So next to the plate for the Phils, Drew Gutierrez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Line to the right side. But foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And in steps Scott Kingery. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. In there, and it's 0 2 now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at 1 and 2. Lays off 2 and 2 now. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Three two pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next three two. High in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The three two one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. 261, the average coming into action here. 13 home runs, and he's driven in 45. McNeil has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Victor Arano comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Here's Jed Lowry now. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season, and he's blown several saves up to this point. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Arano. Stands 6 2 and throws from the right side. He's in his third season as a major league player. And now a pitch that's taken here by Lowry as that evens the count at 1 and 1. And think about it in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. The one two and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right 
And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see there, he finds himself in sixth place in the category in the National League. Stepping in, Dominic Smith. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a little chopper to the right side. Flips it underhand. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. Keon Broxton will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Ball one, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Back up the middle, and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice A.B. right there. Two-out single in the ninth. You put yourself in a position to be the tying run. Now you have your boy coming up behind you, the winning run at the plate. Start loosening up the water cooler lids. We could have a walk-off happen. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jeff McNeil. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. He's set. Here it comes. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2. Let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. A ball and two strikes now. Line hard toward right center. And now a diving effort, but this is off the center fielder's glove. Broxton heads for the plate. Now it's cut off. He to the plate. He's in there at the plate. And we are tied here in the bottom of the ninth. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, d -Roll. Pitcher had the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. Here's Juan Ligares. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Softly hit out to short. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer. And we're right back where we started from. Nine can't decide a winner. We'll move ahead to the tenth. And we are all tied five to five. Jerry's Familia takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Gene Segura standing in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sinker gets the outside for a strike. Obviously, it's pretty deflating when you blow a lead in the bottom of the ninth, and now you're still fighting in extra innings. But the fact is, the game is tied, and a win is still very much a possibility, so they have to play that way. Now batting, Cesar Hernandez. Lifetime against Familia. He's three for nine. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he won't take any chances on that one as this is scooped away in foul territory for the first strike. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. The next 0-2. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty. One man out. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. 
Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. The 0 2 once more. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. There to pull it in, Ligaris, and there are two away now. Bryce Harper will stand in yet again, and he, of course, has had one of the big blows in the contest so far. This was back in the eighth. There's a solo shot proved to be a very important run in this ballgame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Down the left field line and deep, and that will end up a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. This remains a five all ball game. Into the box now. Wilson Ramos. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Delivery to him on the way. In there, no balls and a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? There's another slider. That's back to back good sliders. And this guy's breaking ball is really good. And when he's throwing it well, like he is, and he's confident with it, he can throw it three or four times in a row. A really good slider in this one. The one two is laid off for ball two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. A bouncer up the middle. Throw to first is in time for the first down. cleanup hitter Joannis Cespedes he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day here's the first pitch to him and he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at bat it's ball one fastball in there for a strike 92 on the radar gun that time Swing and a liner. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with, but this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in a gap. Here comes the second baseman Robinson Cano as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. The 1 0. winning run on first one man away Cano connects as this is to deep right field but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall and they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single 
Boy, D-Roll, that looked like extra bases right off the bat. This thing caroms off the wall. Outfielder does a great job of getting it in quickly and probably does a good job holding him to a single. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not standing on second base there, but you run the replay back. He was busting it out of the box. Just a nice job by the defense to hold him to a single. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. And this is just the eye test talking here, but this reliever looks fatigued to me. Doesn't seem like his stuff is really effective right now. Yeah, I can't disagree with that, Matty. He's allowed a couple of runners to reach here in the inning, and the command just doesn't seem to be there anymore. I got to think they're going to turn to a bullpen option very soon, if not right away. And he misses with it one and one. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. Now a foul tip that's held on to at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. That's a real tough pitch they hit. That's, as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in, and still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Michael Conforto becomes out number two this inning. A new pitcher set to take over, and it's one of just a handful of submariners around nowadays. Right-hander Pat Nation digging in the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. rival gets a step up on another in this one guys yeah Matty they do and that's a lift for them but you know the loser's going to get some chances at revenge because rivals within this division face each other quite a bit yeah 100 percent Dan 19 times in a season you take the field against teams in your division so these teams will be very familiar with each other by the end of the season let's hope they give us a lot more good games like this one 